So, uh, so now let's get to, to some bases, a base DI, and this is going to use some of the Antelope Audio non-modeled EQ and compressors. So this is the base. Let's go here. So these are not modeled after any any specific uh, piece of hardware. That's with them in. And that's a feed-forward type compressor. This is just, it, it, it's going into the modeling engine, but we didn't make a specific model. We just put some standardized curves. This is where it all began, really. Right. And these effects end up getting used because they're very functional for, for adding certain things that are very straightforward. We're not looking for a character with these. We're just looking for a compressor and an EQ. Yeah, and when this is, it's a little bit uh, subtle the way I've used it, but I'm really just trying to get more clarity out of the bass. And that's why you'll see that dip uh, at 200. I'm, I'm bringing down a frequency that in, in this bass guitar is, is you know, I, I don't really want that in there. So I'm just adding some clarity to the low end, and, and the parametric here works well for that. So uh, let's, let's jump to some other instruments. Let's go to acoustic guitar. This is just going to be adding, like, some presence to the guitar using the same... That's without. That's with some, so it's some fullness, some upper frequencies. Without. So what I'm trying to do is when I'm when I'm doing any kind of effect, I'm trying to make it so it's a little bit easier for me to put it in the mix. I don't want to have to do as many fader rides if I can help it. I mean, I'm, I'm usually doing fader rides on every instrument anyway, but it, it makes it less that I have to do if I already can get a sound that will, that will be present in the mix. And that's what this is. Alone, some of it may sound like, oh, it's a little bit hyped in the high end too much. But in the mix, it's going to sit away in where, oh, that's nice and open. And maybe the, the volume can actually be down a little bit and still come through the mix in a nice stereo way. OK, I know we're close on time. We're going to do some electric guitars, and then we'll have some more q and I'm going to load the last set. So. For loading, you can see I've, I've already made, that's another 16 set right there. Just load it, and there's another 16. It's very simple. Saving it is, is very simple as well. This is going to be a lap steel guitar. So with this, what I was trying to do is get longer sustain. With the lap steel, it's like, you know, it hits and then it kind of gets down and, and kind of subtle. But I'm really trying to make it so you hear it all the time and it just squished. And I was using three different compression. But we were hearing it. <laughs> yes.